So this is a book that I read as a child that I cared for a lot. I've tried to find it again, but I haven't been able to for my little monster. So I'm going to read it and I'm going to hope that this allows us to preserve it just because I have not been able to find it anywhere. So this just gives you any idea used to be 250. So your first adventure, it's the ninth in the series. I only have the ninth and the tenth in the series. But this one's called Little Kitten Sleeps Over, a choose your own adventure book. Story by Marcia Leonard. Pictures by Karen Schmidt. So, your first adventure, a concept to grow with. Your first adventure is the beginning level in Bantam Books' popular Choose Your Own Adventure series. What that means is that when you're reading the story, there'll be a spot where we stop and we make a choice. And then we go and see how the story is different with our choice. This one is designed to be read aloud to preschoolers or enjoyed by beginning readers. These colorful, action-filled storybooks often un offer unique opportunities for learning while entertaining and amusing young children. Little Kitten Sleeps Over Pretend you are a little kitten and you're at gr your grandma and grandpa's house. So begins the comforting, read-aloud story of a kitten who spends the night with her grandparents. All right, and that just does a little bit more description in other ones that are in the series. What a beautiful balloon. There's two over here. Two more balloons. They are blue with red stars. All right, here's little kitten. Kitten is orange and cream. And she's got books and a little travel case for sleeping over at Grandma and Grandpa's. Let's see here. This is your first adventure book. Oh, this your first adventure book belongs to, and that has my little mama's name on it. Your Little Kitten Sleeps Over. Story by Marcia Leonard. Pictures by Karen Schmidt. Again, that beautiful balloon. Blue with red stars and white stripes. A Packard Montgomery book. Bantam books. Bantam is a type of rooster. For the Carlson clan, especially Mary Ellen M.L. For Richard Lee, K.S. And this book is copyright 1987, to give you an idea of how old it is. So this talks more again about how it is a good idea to start this. It's a concept to grow with. And it says how to use the book. going to skip that page. I'll show you how to use it. We're going to make a choice when it comes to the story and then we're going to finish it and I'll make another video with the other choice. Pretend you are a little kitten and you're at your grandma and grandpa's house. Your parents are away so you and your brother are sleeping over. Oh, look, see, she's got a pretty lamp, a red book, a purple book. Here is a pretty case. So we've got a toothbrush, pencil, comb, some clothes. And look, she looks a little worried. Her eyes are a little bit pursed and she's, she's looking over at the dark closet and the open door. In fact, you're supposed to be asleep now, but you're feeling homesick. Means that you want to go back home. You miss home and a little bit scared. 
and even your favorite book doesn't comfort you. Ooh, it's a sad little kitten. All right. Maybe you'd feel better if you weren't all alone. All right. Big choice time. All right. Option one. If you want to get up and find someone to keep you company, go on to page five. See, it says four right here. We're on page four. All right. She's getting out of bed in her red jammies. All right, so if you want to stay in your room and call for your grandma, turn to page 11. Hmm, which one should we choose? Well, let's choose the first one. We're going to go and find someone to keep us company. All right, so we're going to page five. You get up and tiptoe down the hall. Is your brother awake? Hmm, I wonder. Let's see. No, he's sleeping. No, his eyes are shut tight. Look, he was playing with a blue truck, and a red truck, and he is asleep. Look, she got her little paws on her hips. She looks a little irritated. Look at him, sneezing so comfy. Is there someone in the living room? Who will keep you company? Hmm, I wonder. Let's open the door. This one must be a pocket door since it's sliding in. Shh. All right, let's see who's there. It's a fishy and sleeping birds. No, even the goldfish is dreaming. Yep, it's little eyes is closed and it's sleeping. Look at Grandma's big chair. And her little ottoman. All right. There's a light on in your grandparents' room. You can hear your grandpa snoring. <coughs> but is your grandma still awake? Hmm, I wonder. Let's see. All right. Yes, she lets you snuggle with her while she tells you a story. Look, Grandpa, sleeping, all his face all scrunched up. How silly. Gotta turn the book so you can't see the other page. Then she carries you back to your room and tucks you into bed. All right, and it says turn to page 17. So this is page 10, one, zero. We're gonna look for page one, seven. All right, let's see here. One, two, one, four. So that's 14. One, six, 16. All right, that means 17. All right, now you feel safe and warm, but you are still a little bit homesick. Hmm. I have a surprise for you, says your grandma. Oh, I wonder what it is. What's she getting? And she takes a funny old rabbit down from the closet shelf. Oh, look at that funny rabbit. It was up at the top. There's a coat. And there's grandma. Oh, look. This was your daddy's favorite toy when he was little. Now it can be your special friend and keep you company all through the night. Oh, Grandma must be daddy's mom. So she has that special little bunny. She's handed it over and look how comfortable little kitten is. You feel very happy with your new friend beside you. You close your eyes, and in no time at all, it's morning. How lovely. All right, let's see. Oh, we're at the end of the story, page 20. The rest of your visit is lots of fun. And after that, 
whenever you sleep over at your grandma and grandpa's house, the rabbit is waiting for you. Oh, look, we're all having pancakes. Grandpa's flipping pancakes. And Grandpa is sleeping and is wearing a green shirt. And Grandma has red flowers on her white shirt. And we're feeding pancakes to our little bunny. Oh my, don't do that, it'll get all dirty. But they wash. Ooh, and they have a bowl of fresh strawberries. How yummy. All right. And that's the end. All right. So. We have a little letter from Little Kitten. Choose your own adventure, books to grow with. Dear reader, if you liked my story, you will want to meet all of my friends in the other Your First Adventure books. When you get bigger, you will also love to read the Skylark Choose Your Own Adventure books for readers age 7 to 9. Ooh, there's 40 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Ooh, the haunted house. I wonder if any of these are still in print. I'll have to look. And when you get even older, there are lots of pocket-sized choose-your-own-adventure books for readers, age ten and up. These wonderful stories will take you back in time, up in space, inside a race car through a creepy castle, and to many other exciting places. Hundreds of adventures are waiting for you. I sure hope you enjoyed mine. Thank you very much. Sincerely, Little Kitten. Well, I hope you had fun. I love this story. Thank you so much. You have a great day.